What's up, peoples? Welcome back to CDCDs, where in each one of these videos, I try to take a closer look at a select CD from my own personal selection. Um, if you haven't already figured it out today, we're going to be talking about uh, the 2013 CD, uh, Wolf, which was made by Tyler, the creator, and more specifically was released on April 2nd, 2013. Um, it's well over an hour um, at 71 minutes and 17 seconds, and it was released under uh, you know Odd Future, uh, the record label, uh, Red, and uh, Sony Records. Uh, as far as like the visuals go... Uh, the uh, photography, there was actually, um, yeah, excuse me, there was actually three, uh, like, cover arts. Um, there was, the, you know, the cover you're seeing right here, uh, which I'm not sure exactly if I purchased, like, a deluxe edition. Um, you know, this cover is just, like, a zoomed in, uh, you know, like, uh, picture of Tyler Creator's face, uh, more centered, you know, on his, like, his nose, uh, cutting out his uh, right eye. Um, and, you know, his mouth is wide open. It looks like he's, like, yelling at the camera. It's black and white. And we just have the parental advisory in the uh, lower right-hand corner. Um, I'm not sure if you guys are familiar, but there's also another uh, cover uh, where Tyler, the Creator, it's just like a, you know, like a sky blue background. Tyler, the Creator is, you know, looking upwards in, you know, uh, classic Tyler, the Creator fashion with this weird look in his face. And there's a small picture of Tyler, of Tyler the Creator. Um, that's somewhat see-through in, like, you know, uh, the corner where he's, like, looking. And then there's the other photo, um, which is actually a portrait. Um, I believe it was, I, I want to say it was done by, uh, you know, Mark Ryden. Uh, Mark Ryden uh, did, you know, the art direction uh, with Tyler, you know. The, the credits for the art direction are Mark Ryden and Tyler Creator for the CD. Um, and it looks like it's, you know, exactly in line with his style. Uh, it's Tyler Creator in, like, the woods, uh, riding, like, what would seem like a BMX bike. Um, it's, you know, the, the, the uh, style of the picture is, like, pop uh, surrealist. Um, so, yeah, there's actually uh, three covers. Um, but as far as, like, the photography, the photography goes for the CD, um, that's credited to uh, Eddie to Kelly. Um, which he seems to just be like, you know, an affiliate of Odd Future, uh, you know, one of like the artists that um, it seemed, you know, seemed from what I could see, uh, like he was like, you know, affiliated with the group and he probably came up with them. Um, but I, I wasn't able to like find too much work outside of his connections with Odd Future. Um, I don't know if like the connections like dissolved over time and I don't you know, I'm not sure if like maybe he's just not really doing much as of late. Um, primarily what I, from what I can find on, you know, just like searching the Internet, I did find an Instagram uh, there wasn't really anything past, I want to say, 2014, if not 2016. And then uh, from what I could, when I was reading up about him, uh, I guess he, you know, he got his rise uh, through his Tumblr, which hadn't seemed to be updated in some time either uh, when I checked that out. So, yeah, I'm not really sure what the artist is doing, you know, nowadays. Uh, but, yeah, uh, the Wolf, the CD, um, you know, Eddie T. Kelly is uh, the credited photographer. He also goes by uh, the name Lego Head, which I thought was pretty funny and interesting as well. Uh, like I was saying earlier, the art direction is credited to uh, Tyler, the creator, as well as Mark Ryden. Um, which uh, he is, I, I guess he, in some circles, he's uh, credited to be the, the godfather of pop surrealism um, or the lowbrow movement, um, you know, which his art can basically be summed up by both of those uh, uh, titles. Um, it's He makes some very interesting art. Um, it's, it's very out there. I can definitely see why someone like Tyler, the creator, um, you know, I guess you could say would prefer or, um, you know, draw inspiration from an artist like him. Uh, they're just super out there drawings. Like I, I know yet it's it's all like um, all his characters look like they're almost like baby dolls. Um, they do look like very realistic, but at the same time, it looks like like a cartoon. Like there's some like you know very realistic features about their faces and you know things like that, and just like the overall like I don't know like shading or I, I don't even know how to describe it exactly. But at the same time, like. You can tell it is it's like a cartoon or it's it's not exactly like uh you know like um you know like a regular three d or image or just like a you know a realistic image you see in life um but it, it's i i think that's the whole point it's like to take like you know that realistic approach but then show you some visuals that are just so out there that it it kind of like messes with your perception of reality at first he had one with like uh, a little baby like Nazi riding like a trike um the Nazi outfit was like you know, like that uh, that blue, like that baby blue, and then that pink color that they use for like newborn babies, uh, swastika and all, and it just it just looked weird. Like uh, there was a lot of you know weird stuff like that. Um, 
Um, you know, I don't want to like just like you know put it in a box by like saying it's weird, but yeah, it's it's definitely out there. Uh, if you want to check it out, you can definitely find plenty of his work on the internet. It's it's interesting. It's dope. I don't know where he like pulls you know those images from in his mind, but uh, yeah. Uh, pretty interesting. Uh, I can definitely see him, you know, being in line with, uh, you know, like the likes of like Tyler Creator on future, um, you know, artists that kind of it seemed like they pan a little bit more toward like that post mod or uh, maybe not necessarily post mod, but just like that very like out of the box uh, type like thinking and artwork, um, you know, on a constant or consistent. But yeah, let's get into the actual uh, art, um, you know, or the CD. Uh, we already talked about like the cover, so we can just flip around back. Uh, we just have Tyler Creator Falling. This is one of those, like, uh, folded CD, uh, you know, covers or packagings um, where, you know, we're going to have, like, uh, two flaps on each side. Uh, I thought it was pretty interesting. So, yeah, it just would appear. I don't know if Tyler Creator was doing some trick, fell off a bike. I don't know. Uh, but he's, you know, falling through the sky. Seems to be, like, head, you know, first going down um, as if he, like, you know, I don't, yeah, it seemed like he, like, was riding his bike or something like that and hit something and got jettisoned from the bike. And I would assume those are, like, the mountains of California uh, toward the bottom of the picture. Uh, we have, like, uh, you know, the barcodes and, you know, other, like, uh, text for, like, legalities, insignias from FBI, you know, warnings for copyright, things of that nature. And we also have the Odd Future logo um, or just the OF um, in the bottom uh, right-hand corner right here. It's also, let me get a close-up shot of that and try to get it focused. There's another OF, like, right there. All right, so, yeah, here on the back, uh, we have Tyler, the creator, you know, some green vans, green golf wang hat, and uh, seems to be rocking some other golf wang, uh, you, know, you know, merchandise, memorabilia, um, with that hoodie, you know. I feel like those donuts is, like, it probably goes hand-in-hand hand with, like, you know, his, his logo, um, you know, because basically what I'm saying is anytime you see that, you can, you know, believe that's most definitely affiliated with, uh, you know, Tyler, the creator, our future, so on and so forth. Uh, but yeah, he's just sitting over here on a you know a BMX bike. Uh, I assume is probably in the hills of California, uh, chilling around some pine trees. You know, looking like Tyler Creator tends to look uh, with that stare at the camera. Uh, lighting in this picture is pretty dope. Uh, you know, I I I, uh, <laughs> I wanted to say I fucks with it, but I kind of thought about it and I was like, ah, it's maybe not the best phraseology. But yeah, that's that's basically what it comes down to. I do fucks with it. Uh, I think the lighting. Uh, just it's just nice like it was taken at a very uh you know uh, good time in the day and i wonder if that was like purposeful um you know by the photographer or tyler creator himself uh but yeah if we just want you know we can go inside uh we got tyler creator over here digging for a treasure uh with that you know two finger technique um you know two in the pink one in the stink a little uh nah but yeah nah he's just you know digging like i said digging for treasure uh we got like um pink background uh it almost looks like it's from within inside like a bathroom or a tub uh with that tiling it could just be the outside of like you know like a, a store or something like that um it's just not every day you really see like pink bricks or like you know pink pink tiling like that outside of the bathroom i'm um, assuming he's wearing more uh golf wing merchandise memorabilia the thing about tyler creator is, is like when you're consuming his art whether it be visual or um, you know, like uh, audio based or, you know, just, just within any uh, medium that he's, you know, you're consuming his art, you really never know um, where like, you know, his, uh, I guess his talents like, you know, end or, um, you know, where they extend. Um, when I was first looking at all this, I, to be honest, I didn't, I just assumed Tyler created this whole thing um, just because I know how hands on he is with, you know, his like, his, uh, his visions and his works of art. Uh, but yeah, the actual cover of the CD itself, uh, you know, we have this like weird, uh, you know, drawing. And this is something I would assume Tyler Creator most likely did draw himself. It's just this odd, uh, almost like a Billy and Mandy looking like character. Uh, you know, we have like um, the waves in his hair, um, some freckles on each side, red eyes. Um, I know the Tyler Creator is, uh, well, then we got the OF logo. Our feature logo right there. Not sure if it's going to focus because it's quite small it's trying oh we almost like we almost get it and then it just ah there it is nice and then we also have um you know it would seem uh in white lettering uh along the borders we have like uh mo you know like tyler creator uh the title of the cd wolf uh you know other like uh, you know, text, you know, uh, in regards to, like, the label and whatnot. Uh, flip around back, you know, it's just basic uh, back to CD. Uh, we'll go ahead and put that aside for now. Uh, behind the CD, you know, where it's actually housed, uh, we have, like, the white sky. 
Um, they're not white sky. Uh, the you know the blue sky, white clouds, um, which seems to um, I'm, I'm assuming it's from the, all from the same shoot since we have some like surrounding trees. I would assume it's from the same shoot as uh you know like here um, because it seems to be a pretty clear day right there there as well. Um, so yeah, it's probably just a few clouds they were able to find you know in the sky and that's just where they were at the time. Uh, each one of these flaps. Um, hmm. Actually, there's nothing. There's nothing housed in this flap, which is interesting enough um or i i just think it's interesting because like you know i mean tyler creator you know they tends to do like you know what everybody would think him not to do anyways or i would assume a lot of time that's where his uh his thought process is uh but you think they put like something in here like you know like a poster or something like that i mean i don't hang up posters and all so i don't want to continue to you know open that up to peel it more apart but it's just interesting they didn't really include anything um on the left flap uh you know the booklet is housed within the left flap we have tyler the creator uh would seem to be tyler the creator sitting down with the golf wing uh varsity jacket on uh which i'm assuming he designed himself i, I think he designs all his clothing um i am you know but i'm assuming he also probably works with like a team of individuals as well um you know it bounces ideas off of uh, probably, you know, draw inspiration from them also. Uh, so, I mean, yeah, you know, let's, I'll just take with like a grain of salt, um, you know, with that idea that like, yeah, most of the visuals probably had his influence and um, it's not to say he didn't, you know, completely create anything we're looking at, but yeah, um, uh, he's probably is, you know, working with people. Most artists like tend to collaborate, especially at his level and even, you know, uh, people, you know, lower than his level. Um, you know, who are just like coming up on the grind, uh, they collaborate with a lot of different artists. It's understandable. Uh, you make, you know, probably make better works of art that way, anyways, having like somebody else's uh, opinion or perspective, uh, within, you know, some consideration. Uh, so the booklet, it's, uh, you know, plain white background. Uh, we have Wolf spelled out in interesting, you know, drawings. We have that donut, that our future donut with two dots above it. It's an interesting W. It really looks more like a puzzle piece. Uh, we have a gun for the L and then a finger that snapped off and bleeding um, for the F. And the F, that, you know, the, the two uh, prongs for the F actually look like a flag flag of blood. So, hey, that's his original screenplay, uh, Wolf Salem Slater Sam, a film by Wolf Haley. Jesus, like, there's just, there's just a lot. Uh, if you're not familiar, uh, Tyler Creator, you know, he, he does... Uh, similar to Nicki Minaj, where he has, like, several different, like, personalities within his project. Within this, it was pretty interesting. I mean, I, I didn't, like, fully follow it. I know there is, like, a, uh, you know, like, a story. I think it's it's more or less about, uh, you know, there's there's an antagonist and a protagonist, and then the girl comes into play, and I think, like, you know, the girl starts, you know, hanging out with the other one of Tyler personality, uh, Tyler Creator's personalities, and the other one doesn't like it, so he's going after him. The music, you know, it, it sounds good on a record, but it's definitely a lot to follow if you're trying to actually follow, uh, you know, the whole storyline behind it. Um, I just listened to, you know, the CD, try to take it in for what it's worth. Uh, so, yeah, we have right here, we have, like, a baby blue background um, with, like, pink or, like, almost like a sherbet, like, text. Um, and these are the... It's not the credits, but the lyrics for the songs. Um, I think it just continues that way throughout the entirety of, uh, yeah, yeah. So it's just all the lyrics for the songs. I don't even, I don't, I think there are some credits uh, as we go along. I don't know if it's just like fully uh, lyrics in the beginning. Uh, this also, this almost would seem like it'd be in like Tyler Creator's handwriting. Uh, white background, like a, you know, a notebook. We actually see like the uh, ridges. Um, on the left-hand side, or the binding of the notebook on the left-hand side of each page. And then we also have some of his doodles um, along the margins, which, you know, that's pretty cool. It does give you, like, that authentic uh, feel as far as, like, you know, you're just reading this out of Tyler Creator's uh, notebook. Uh, I'm just going to try and, you know, get, like, a decent shot of each one of the pages just in case any of you guys want to, like, read any of this stuff. Um, yeah, we'll just continue on. Uh, we have, you know, Domo Genesis right, right there. I'm assuming he's probably featured. Um... And what is that? I was reading the orange text uh, right there. I was trying to figure out. Yeah, I mean, this is just all. I think it's just reprinted lyrics. But if you know better than I do, you know, comment below. Um, I don't want to take too much time, you know, just like staring <laughs> in silence. Uh, but yeah, we have more of like, uh, well, it seems like the typography now. Um, in various colors, this being uh, light blue. Uh, more of Tyler Creator's doodles right here. And then, uh, you know, more. Uh, typography a different color in red now uh so it seems to be transitioning like back and forth between like tyler creator's actual handwriting and then moving to like you know typography for the, for the lyrics but it all would seem to just be like 
uh, the lyrics listed. Um, it can also be like ad libs uh, that he wanted to include in there. I don't know if that's what's like typed on the side as well. Uh, you know, continues with the with the doodles throughout the notebook. Uh, so I mean, that's pretty cool. Like you know, like I said originally, it, it gives you that uh, authentic feeling. Um, you know, with like all the, the pages being white and then also see his transition, you know, maybe he just had like a, a paint marker, um, or like, you know, not a paint marker, but like a Sharpie around. That's what he started doodling in. This is a little hard on the eyes right here. This is actually like a pink, you know, you're not really going to be able to see it too well on the camera. Um, but it's like a pink and then we got like uh citrus or like a orange type, you know, typography, uh, continue with the lyrics. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't think you guys are going to be able to see this too much, but I'll, I'll do my best to, all right, so yeah, you can see the, the lyrics are written a little bit better, got a better idea of the lyrics right there, yeah, this page is rough, and then we have, you know, some illustrations by Tally Creator, um, in the background, um, there, there, and there, just give you guys a better idea. Yeah, these videos, man, they just be so long. I'm trying to show, trying to get, fit everything in there. It's probably me running my mouth in the beginning as well. But yeah, so uh, in see once again now it transitions back to you know the, the doodle heavy uh, Tyler Creator handwriting. Uh, you know pages uh, right here. We have a picture. Of, I would assume that's the girl that Tyler Creator is referring to in the uh, you know the the music or the body of work. Uh, that also that seems like. Maybe a scene that he sketched out. It could be a scene, or maybe he's like plotting something. Uh, you know, playing to the delusions of uh, you know his character that he created. Uh, right there, we got right there, right there. And this is a pretty girthy book, to be honest. Like, I mean, it is all his lyrics listed, so it makes sense. It's just I'm, I'm just conscientious of that, like you know, going through it, you know, for time, things like that. Uh, so I'm going to try to be somewhat concise. On this page, it's an orange background. Uh, we just have that, you know, that's a blue or like a greenish title. Um, and then it's got, uh, it's almost like the reverse of the past where like, uh, you know, the other uh, sherbetty looking like uh, pages where we had like a, a pinkish or like a magenta background and like an orange text. Here it's like an orange background with like a pinkish or a magenta text. I right, so yeah, like continue with that like Sherbert uh, style, you know, Sherbert like color, I guess you could call it. Uh, you know, this page, uh, we just have like the light blue uh, background, uh, the Sherberty like, you know, almost like a raspberry looking like color uh, for the, you know, the text. And then um, for the titles of uh, each one of the songs, uh, they're like in that orange color that we've seen in the past before. You can see right there, uh, we have parking lot. And then over here, uh, we have, uh, trying to get it. It does say Ruster. Oh, it's like when I'm trying to focus in on something, I really want to see it. I don't know why. There we go. There we go. We got it in focus. Uh, but yeah, we then we just have a few like you know Tyler Creator illustrations uh, at the bottom, uh, where I would you know I'd assume so. Uh, we got that dude Lucas, which you know he's an OF member. Uh, so yeah, this may just be like um, you know different members of Odd Future. Um, but, you know, Carl, uh, Tyler's just, you know, um, using, like, inanimate objects uh, to illustrate them. Interesting enough, moving on to the next page, uh, we go back to that, you know, raspberry background. Uh, now, on this page, we have, uh, you know, like the title of the song is being uh, light blue, uh, similar to the background of the last page. And then we have, uh, you know, just like the last page, uh, the text is, uh, you know, like a citrus or orangey color. Uh, still within that, you know, whole, like, Sherbert type theme. I'm, you know, that's what I'm calling it. Uh, then we have a peace sign um, with nothing but kittens who have fangs, upside down crosses on their heads, and black eyes. So, yeah, that's just that Tyler Creator shit. If you ain't with it or used to it by now, I don't really know what there is to be said about you. Uh, if you're just getting hip to Tyler Creator, uh, you got some research to do. Uh, you got to see me, like, a cockroach and all that other shit. But, um... Yes, yeah, so, you know, then on this side, it goes back to the whole, uh, you know, like, um, the notebook uh, page. Uh, but this is, like, you know, before where he was using, like, a Sharpie, to, you know, to draw. Um, let me see. Yeah, this is just more lyrics from what I can see. Uh, I was trying to see if this is, like, you know, different text. Uh, and then on, no, still not the last page. There's a lot of pages to this one. Um, so on this, you know, side and left side of this page, uh, it's white, you know, background, uh, the text, it, 
So we have the Raspberry uh, more, you know, the Raspberry typography more on the inside of the book cover, while on the outside of the book cover we have, um, you know, similar to the, you know, what we saw in the past um, or the previous pages rather, uh, where it seems like he wrote uh, the lyrics in Sharpie. Um, and then on this side, for some random ass reason, Tyler created shit once again, uh, black background, and then we got uh, all light blue uh, typography for the lyrics. Um, so yeah, it's just a lot of like, you know, it's just a lot, dude. And I mean, I know he, he does it. Oh, and then these are all the, uh, album credits. So I must've missed this originally when I went through. Um, but yeah, it goes back to that Sherbert theme, orange background. Let's try and get decent shots. Uh, so, you know, yeah, I mean, like I said, you know, if you're not really familiar with like the whole Tyler created thing, like I feel like a, a part of like his art or why he does some of his art is, is partially, you know, due to like a why not. Um, I mean, I, I know it's, he said in the past, like, certain colors, you know, colors he chooses, like, to combine together. Uh, it's things that he doesn't normally, like, always see together. Um, so, I mean, yeah, it is just, you know, at the end of the day, similar to all their artworks. It's just stuff that, like, you know, the person thinks should be out there or thinks should be, like, uh, you know, like, like basically asking, like, why isn't it done this way? And, like, you know, just doing it in their own way uh, to challenge status quo, so on and so forth. I don't think that's its only purpose. I think it, it definitely is, you know, from the mind of, like, Tyler. Um, then, you know, just says thank you on the back with the title again. Uh, similar to the front, um, you know, Wolf, uh, which is backwards, which is pretty, pretty dope. I would, you know, continue that in the background. But, yeah, you know, like, a lot of it, like I was saying, um, you know, or I think some of the direction, it's really just, like, him saying, like, you know, why not? Or these are things he just normally doesn't see. And because he doesn't see them, maybe, you know, he, he's interested to see, like, you know, what it would be like to have, uh, you know, all this put together. That, that's basically, you know, where his art stems from. Um, you know, it's just a collection of things he doesn't see uh, paired with things that he would just like to see together or in conjunction. Or at least that's what it looks like from this uh, perspective or angle. Uh, but, yeah, so, you know, this is CDC. Uh, that was Tyler the Creator's Wolf uh, CD. Uh, you know, you know, continue to check us out. We're gonna keep checking out, you know, his various CDs for my overall uh, personal collection. Diving a little bit deeper into their cover art, uh, graphic design, and uh, the packaging. Uh, but yeah, like I said, this is CD CDs. Tune in next time. Thanks for checking us out. And I, right, people, I'm out. Peace.